So, hello again. We got a few more ceiling fans we're going to scrap out today. I was uh, fishing around last night one of the neighborhoods, and I came across three all the same. As you can see, I've already been a little busy. But uh, they were all the same, so we're just going to do one. We're going to show you what's in this one. Pretty good size. Still got some light bulbs in it. That's a bonus. Got to buy any light bulbs. Here's the tools. Pliers, slip joint pliers, cutters, Phillips head, file, and of course the power screwdriver and a hammer. And a couple bins for cast aluminum and brass. We'll back up the light bulbs when we get them out of there. And that right there is my high tech camera holder. Just flip the phone in that slot. It does a pretty good job for me. So let's get to it. Protect your hands. Protect yourself when you're doing this stuff, folks. It's not worth getting hurt over. It's not a ton of money in this. So we'll just get the light bulbs out first, maybe. Probably should let the glove off for that. Can't get a grip. screws to hold the glass globes in. Just undo them, just back them off to the left. And that goes to recycle. So the globes go to right in the recycle bin. I'm not putting glass in the landfill. Sorry if y'all can't see too well, but I have to get these off too. Come on. Always a hassle. See? Well, it's not worth getting hurt over. It's always something. Three. Yeah, busted that one, dude. Sometimes it strips that mm, screw out. Yeah, we might be screwed on this one. Mm. Yep, yeah, screwed good. Oh well, we'll improvise. The wires off. Hang on, be right back. Oh, 
clip on it. You just pull the clip out and pull the pin right out. Things are getting stronger over there, man. These things are really sunk in there. Strong. Okay. That's it on that side. Move a little bit. Ferrules are almost always brass too. Under the ferrule, pull the chain all the way out. Clip. Right into the brass bucket. Once you get those out, it comes right off. Then cut these wires on the side. Cut them short. Like that. And then I'll pop out of there since you took the ferrule off. Junk steel. All the screws out of everything, the switch, the pull switches, all this, all this comes loose. This might be attached in there. You can see, we'll stick them pad. 
get down in here as far as you can get. Let me show you this. Okay, see the nut down there? Just cut it down as close to the nut as you can. That. Now go ahead and cut these big pieces off. Like that. I'm not going to fool with the rest of it. Just throw it in the wire bin. Now, the one thing I didn't do is I wanted a special tool to get that nut off of there. I'm going to need the impact. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going a lot of time doing this, trust me. And I know it's a specialized tool and everything, and while you may not have it, but man, if you've got it, use it. <laughs> okay. 13 sixteenths. I think. No. Too small, this one's bigger. Hang on. Take the blades off because they're accessible. Get in there. You've already cut the wire. This boop oh, comes right out. Them. Like that. 
always a stinker. One of them is always a stinker. There we go. Scrap steel. easier to do in the other stock that you've seen before and this one you gotta break it off and hammer it off. This one's not so bad. Just set it up. Grab that with the pliers. Stick that through there. Ten cents a pound, twice the price of steel. Okay. We got our fan blades. something like that, plus the wire and a little bits of brass. It's about $3 a fan. Like I said, not a lot of money, but as you see, you get the system down, it's pretty quick. But between the three fans, hey, there's nine bucks from last night. It's going to take you about 15 minutes total work time. No big deal. And that's about $36 an hour averaged. Not terrible. Just wish I could do it every hour of the day. There you go, folks. One more fan. I'll get on this other one here, but I just wanted to show you one. Let's see what's going on. There you go. All done. If I get anything else different, interesting, I'll see if I can't tape it, and I'll let you all know about it. Thanks again for watching. See ya.